Um, you spoke on the, the um, beginning of Black Lives Matter, mm -hmm. and you spoke about um, uh, Trayvon Martin situation, which is, in my opinion, still like it blows me to this day that this man um, Zimmerman is walking the streets. We want to fight each other and kill each other all day, but this guy is walking the street. I'm not promoting to kill this man or beat him up or nothing, but it just it just it baffles me how comfortable this man's living his life. Oh yeah. Um, you actually met Trayvon's mom, had I have. Um, how was that? It was literally like two two maybe three months after mm -hmm. everything happened, um, and myself and a friend of mine who was actually working on helping me to work on my album at the time. We drove, we drove from Panama City all the way down to Sanford, Florida. Mm -hmm. um, Jamal Bryant and Jamal Bryant and Al Sharpton were having a rally there, but the rally also was on the same day that Sanford City Council was meeting about the direction that they were going to take with the police department and their lack of investigating this case. Um, so we were outside for the rally Rally's over with. Myself and my friend were walking away, and standing in front of me is Sabrina Fulton and um, Tray Trayvon's father, Mr. Mark. Mm -hmm. um, I'm standing there, and you know, she looked at me and she was just like, "I thank you, you know, thank you for coming. Um, you know, where did you, come, you know, where where did you come from?" And I was like, "I said we came from um, Panama City, Florida. It's kind of like near. I told her it was like near Tallahassee." Pensacola here. She was like, yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with Panama City. She was like, you came all the way from there. I was like, yes, ma'am. And she was like, for my son? And I was like, ma'am, I le legitimately could have been your son. Like, legit could have been your son. And I gave her like the quick cliff note version of what happened to me. And she was like, wow. She was like, so. And I was like, but ma'am, that was like back in 2000, 2001. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's 2013. Yeah. It's still going on in the state. It, this is still going on in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. um, and so she was just like, I just, I appreciate you coming. She was like, I just didn't really understand. She's like, I don't really understand still how big of an issue this is for four people. I was like, well, we've all gotten to the point now. It's like we're tired. Yeah. You know, and. I think now, in 2017, we have to get back to that point of we're tired. Um, because I think the point that we're at now is not that we're tired, it's that this is gonna keep, this is gonna always happen. Uh -huh. And the result of what happens that's going to always happen, meaning they're going to always keep shooting us, mm -hmm. and they're going to always get off. Right. You just said that uh, this is always going to be happening to us, and we want to change, like, try to make a ripple effect to change it, and, mm -hmm. and no matter what, by all means. I had a conversation with my mom about about this. My mother is a black woman, and she, she was born in the 50s, was a child in the 60s, kind of grown in the 70s and 80s. Uh, I, I asked her, I was like, what do you think about stuff like Colin Kaepernick, about Black Lives Matter, you know, all these all these social issues that have to do with race. And she said, um, she said with a straight face that black people have been treated wrong since we've been brought here to Africa from America, to America. That's how it is, and that's how it always will be. And she said that. She acknowledged that there was a problem, but she seemed like she's at an age where she's just like, you know what, what, what can you do about it? Right. And that kind of broke my heart a little bit. That uh, that you're like settling, that you just like, you know, just, 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 just do what you do, get your money, and go home. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. And it, that kind of reminded me of a quote Pac said that when you get to a certain age, they, they pull out the spirit of a black man mm -hmm. on it. And I feel that's happened to my mother, and I feel that's happened to a lot of people her age and above. Right. And I, I really hope that not just you, but other people that, that are um, active like you don't ever lose that spirit, seriously. And that's why I keep myself around individuals a little younger or a lot younger than I. Um, because they keep me 
in a place of don't lose that don't lose that fervor. Don't right. lose that fight. Because if you lose like like I literally have had someone tell me like if you lose it, then like we're done. Right. And uh, um, 